beautiful people Lance here and I had to get out the house so of course I don't have my normal background you're gonna hear background noise but everybody's locked up inside so we had to do something a little different but as we came out here to this park look at all these people though that junk is crazy like I really didn't think this many people would be out here and not to mention it's kind of cold but it's all good though that's not what this video is about so I went on YouTube and I took a screenshot of all of the nasty or negative comments that was on our channel and we wanted to share it with you guys today. I don't know why these people said these things. I don't know what they were doing, what they were thinking, but I thought it was kind of funny. So let's see, let's see what it's about. I took screenshots here on my phone. You guys can go on YouTube and see if you can find these comments yourself, but I'm gonna read them out loud and I'm gonna respond to them and you better believe I'm gonna call you out by name. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. So it says, oh my gosh. I hate to see brothers degrading themselves with white women. You can do better, bro. That's just that's just rude. Like I don't even understand why you would say something like that. I don't I don't We can't move on as a world from racism if we just don't move on as a people. Like, if you're black and you disagree with me being with a white girl, move on from that, man. Grow up. Just grow up. Let's go on to our next question. <laughs> Alright, this one's kind of... <laughs> Alright, this next, this next response somebody said. Now, keep in mind, this is YouTube, so you can see me. I can't see you, but... This one got this one got me. This one said, "You're not black, and she'll f you off when you got no money." The funny thing about that is I don't have no money right now, <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. And I mean, I don't I don't get no blacker than this. So who are you, and what are you talking about? It's a dumb comment. You don't even know what you're talking about. And I messed up. I messed up. I forgot to call you out by name. So the first comment was from Devin James. So Devin James, whatever, bro. I mean, stop being racist, grow up. This next comment, whoever said I'm not black is from John Witt. You're not black and she'll F you off when you got no money. That's not true. That's how I don't have it. This is from Megan Axelia Carrington Rododarter. It's an Icelandic name. I got no idea what it is, but look at how long that is. When Megan wrote this message, she must have been in quarantine and had absolutely nothing to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and read and let's see what she said. Um, ah, Miss Miskin Genie. What's this word? <laughs> read that word. Misingeniation. What does it say? Misingeniation. Misingeniation. Meg, I don't know what that means, baby girl. Leave a comment and tell me what that means because I don't even know what she's saying. She said, the end to your beautiful, national, cultural, historical, ancestral, Icelandic, ethnic roots and identity as your descendants further dissolve and dilute their ethnic Icelandic representation away into insignificance into insignificance amongst the random masses I don't know what she means by the random masses you'll be a measly laughable little one percent or less in your Amerimut Amerimut I'm, I'm popping butcher. I don't know what she's saying. Cultureless descendants, ancestral DNA test that nobody cares about. Essentially, you've killed off your entire lineage. Do I'm guessing you killed off your entire lineage. Um, representation and legacy. Legacy. You're only worth being your ethnic identity since by the ethnic identity we carry our representation forth and live on forever. 
At least if you are living in Iceland, there's a chance your descendants could dissolve and dilute back under the Icelandic identity, but oh well, good job. You know what? Thanks for at least telling us we're doing a good job. <laughs> I mean, this isn't going to change our relationship. I don't know why you would leave such a negative comment. If that's how you feel, it's, it's cool. But we appreciate the comment. All right, next one. This one is from Davy Crockett. Creative name, bro. <laughs> you going to laugh at this one. <laughs> This guy is giving off serious gay vibes. <laughs> I mean, whatever you think, man, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I'm the one on YouTube right now with my girl. What are you doing? <laughs> so, all right. All right. This one's not necessarily a negative comment, but it's a little bit more of a perverted comment, I guess. And it's like, is this the only reason why you get on YouTube, bro? This one is from DJ Toxic. When's your chick doing more bikini videos, bro? <laughs> hey, uh, DJ Toxic, we actually got a couple of them coming up soon. So if you want to see bikini videos, keep subscribing to our channel. <laughs> I mean, and let's see how many more we got. Dang, we got a lot. All right. Here's another long one. This is from... Um, our video asking if our family agrees to our, uh, not YouTube channel, but our relationship. This is from the planner. It says, so I guess when you go about two minutes in, um, you'll find this. We said something about this video, but it says, every interracial kid I have ever came across has identity issues to one degree or another. Don't be naive. Kids don't identify as people. They, they identify with their family and and then friends. They will see huge cult <laughs> they will see huge cultural differences between your two families and get screwed up. For their sake, don't reproduce. All I'm gonna say to this one is the planner, for your sake, don't reproduce. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. K N K N it says, is it true black men normally are angry and hot-headed, toxic, stressful, etc.? <laughs> K and K and where'd you hear that from? Like, I mean, I don't, I think that all people can be toxic, stressful, angry, or hot-headed. I've seen all kinds of people have different kind of I don't want to for lack of a better word I'm gonna use the word issues but I wouldn't just normalize or keep it to just black men but hey man you know it's whatever all right it's our last one the last one it says it's from Devin James again Devin James we appreciate you man leaving comments he said dating a white LMAO To think that if you're gonna leave a negative comment, put a little bit more thought into it, like our girl Megan did. I mean, like, really give it to us. I mean, let us know what you really think. Except for dating a white, that's that's it's a little it's a little bland, bro. But that's it. I mean, whenever you're in the YouTube game or whenever you're filming on social media, you're gonna get a lot of hate comments. You're gonna get a lot, especially doing what Du and I do. We film a lot of interracial relationship stuff. And yeah, we know people don't agree with what we do, but we don't care. We film this for the people who do agree with what we do. And those are the people that we appreciate. So yeah, I'm gonna call you out by name and um, let you know that, hey, I apologize that you don't agree. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not being sorry that you don't agree with us. But we're going to keep doing what we're doing, and your hate actually fuels us to keep filming more videos. So that's all I got to say about that, and I'm sure Dua will close this out. <laughs> I usually do this. Yeah, what was that? I'm going to do it again. That's all I got to say about that, and I'm sure Dua will close this out. Later, dudes.